It's a cloudy, hazy day. Yet with Garmin's Synthetic Vision Technology SVT, you can see the terrain as clearly as if you were looking out of the window. SVT allows the pilot to see a 3D representation of terrain, obstacles, and traffic. All this is presented on the G1000's PFD. SVT seamlessly integrates with Garmin's G1000 avionics suite, so you can, under any situation, have a complete situational awareness of your surroundings, even in the dark. This system features a display of synthetic terrain and flight hazards, including traffic and obstacles, as well as a flight path marker and highway in the sky technology. These are only some of the things that this system provides. The 3D terrain presentation is almost as real as directly looking at a ground feature. Hills and valleys, rivers and lakes take on a more realistic quality. Hills and mountains loom larger on the PFD as you get closer to them. As a matter of fact, both obstacles and traffic become larger as they get closer to your aircraft. That's a much more realistic presentation than a static symbol. If you want to go to a certain point on the PFD, like a nearby airport, just put the gun sight, the green circular flight path marker, on your target and you'll get there as indicated. This feature is also called a velocity vector and will accurately predict your airplane's path. The SVT package also includes a white horizontal zero pitch line that runs all the way across the PFD screen. It tells you if you have the necessary clearance for terrain or obstacles at your present altitude. One of the really neat features is termed the Highway in the Sky, boxes that guide you to any point on your flight. If you're making an instrument approach, for example, the series of boxes guide you to your DA or MDA. Again, just keep the circular flight path marker on the center of the next box and you can't miss. If the PFD seems too cluttered with the addition of the boxes, just turn them off. You do this with a dedicated soft key. The G1000's terrain proximity page uses the colors yellow and red to indicate your relationship to terrain. Yellow indicates that the terrain is less than 1,000 feet below your aircraft. Red indicates less than 100 feet. SVT uses these colors in the same way. The SVT software will project grid lines on the terrain to help improve distance perception. Also notice that the SVT software projects an enlarged inverted V for attitude awareness, which replaces the smaller inverted V on the standard G1000 PFD. Airports with their runways start to come into view around 8 miles out. The runway numbers become visible at about 2 miles. SVT highlights and enhances the runway and its environment for greater clarity and realism. If you already have an airplane with the G1000 system, you can upgrade to SVT by having the new software loaded into your present system. It only takes a moment to do and there is no additional hardware to purchase. Obstacle data is updated every 30 days, the terrain data every year. Many feel that once they have flown an SVT-equipped G1000, the standard presentation is, well, just plain drab, much like graduating from round gauges to the G1000 system.